What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video I'm going to talk about two free resources that I think every med student should be using. It's free, it's high quality, and it's useful. Um, we all know med school is expensive. There's no question about it. You got to pay tuition, you got to buy books, you got review material, you guys buy a bunch of colored pens and highlighters. These things are expensive. Um, so you know it's expensive. We all like free stuff. Who doesn't? Um, we all use Wikipedia, we all Google, we try to get as much you know, background knowledge as we can. But there does become a problem in that you want like high quality information. You know, you want things that are accurate, you want things that are high end, um, well made. And a lot of times we just pay for that. Whether it's step one prep, step two prep, board material, review material, whatever you use, we end up usually paying for it. But at the same time, you kind of get tired, you want to pay for everything, and you just want free stuff. Um, for example, my YouTube channel is free. You guys don't pay for this, it's just you get whatever I say and it's there and hopefully you like it. Um, so I'm going to share two resources that I want to let you guys know about. And the reason I thought of these is because I'm using them now as an intern and they're totally, you know, they're directed for medical school but they're still valuable now. Um, so the first resource is called Osmosis. It's a YouTube channel. They make free videos that you just watch that covers like really basic step one material, um, high end. So here's why I like it. The other day I was reading about Parkinson's disease. You know, I'm in residency, I got a patient, I'm kind of reviewing some stuff. I just decided, let me check out YouTube to see what they got. Um, and there was, because uh, here's what I wanted. I wanted like an attending or a resident in neuro, someone to kind of walk me through Parkinson's, talk to me about like management of medication. There wasn't really anything there, and I was like, crap. But I did find this video called, it's like this, it's called Parkinson's, but then the channel was Osmosis, and I was watching the video, and it, it was, it's not like a real pen and like a whiteboard, it's like digital, I don't, I don't know what we call that. But it's like just digital, you know, at, animation where they were going through Parkinson's disease talking about the step one relevant basic science, the pathophysiology, some treatment modalities, uh, physical presentation on exam and I was like wow this is like really high-end stuff it's it's kind of like I should be paying for it um, but you know it's free. Um, check it out guys it's it kind of blew my mind to a certain degree because it's videos that are really well made they're like animated they have like stories they're interactive um, I think the Osmosis crew is like MDs and various like medical people who have, you know, the knowledge base to make these really high-end uh, quality videos. And best of all, they're free. So even someone like me who's an intern, um, you know, at times you need to go back to step one material. I mean, you frequently have to go back to step one material. And a lot of it, you just know the basic science in your head. You already know what's going on. But sometimes you forget some things. And sometimes it's just nice to review the basics. Um, so I was trying to read more about high, you know, high end kind of, not uh, high end, but like more of management of medications and people with Parkinson's disease to better get control. And I found that video that was geared towards medical school and medical students on what is Parkinson's disease. They break down the pathophys, they talk about treatment. And I, you know, I learned some stuff and I was like, wow, this is great. Um, especially someone, you know, as you go up in your training, the basic science is always relevant. Um, for those of you who are, you know, third-year medical students right now and you took step one, um, you can't, don't be like, oh, I finished step one, I'm done. It's going to be there forever. Basic science is relevant. That's probably why we spend two years of medical school learning about it. Um, and even for me, you know, as an intern doing, you know, going into neuro, I even found the video to be useful and I learned a couple things. Um, so you should always know your basic science. It's always relevant. And best of all, this company or, you know, YouTube channel makes these videos. They're really high end. They have like MD people making them. Um, and best of all, they're free on YouTube, just kind of like my channel. So link below for Osmosis YouTube channel. They get my two thumbs up. Um, check them out. I hope you like them. They have like a broad range of videos. I mean, not to always talk about neuro. I'm sure it gets kind of, you know, I belabor the point there sometimes, but they had videos like on different types of cardiomyopathies, on strokes, on seizures, on GI pathologies, all like core concepts that medical students without a doubt need to know because that's like what you get tested on and those are things that you should just know going into the hospital now. Um, and even as intern, even as resident, I would argue, things that you 
for us kind of are a little more basic now, but things you need to refresh. Because a lot of the basic science comes back being relevant later, but during that time you kind of forget a lot about it because you start focusing more on the clinical aspect, um, learning how to manage patients, learning how to run a service, uh, learning like how services operate and how you can be an effective member. Um, so sometimes you can forget some of that basic science material. Um, for those of you who, you know, I never forget any basic science. Well, good for you, but for the rest of us who are normal, it's nice to refresh. And if you're in first or second year of med school in particular, these videos are outrageously high yield for you because they're spot on, they cover all the great content, and they're free. Um, so check out the Osmosis site. It gets my full support. I love it. I think the videos are high quality. They're very directed towards medical students. People who are interns and maybe even residents can get information from it as well. So check them out. YouTube channel down below. Subscribe to them. Um, if they have a Facebook or Google or social media, which I'm sure everyone does, check those out as well for them. Um, great channel. Second thing I want to talk about is the Stanford 25. So a lot of you know I love the physical exam. It's, you know, it's a strong reason of why I came into medicine. I love how the physical exam connects the physician and the patient. It's a very time-honored tradition and builds a degree of um, intimacy between the two parties where we can share information and learn about the health and try to help. Um, and also it's something that isn't as emphasized in medicine anymore. Um, in the world of CT scans and MRIs and different imaging modalities, less and less people use um, the physical exam to its full capabilities. And the beauty of the Stanford 25 is that it's a, you know, Stanford University made 25 skill sets that every physician should know in the physical exam. And the attending that runs all these videos is considered like the modern day um, you know, God or, you know, the person who's leading the physical exam world um, and, I, you know, I would, couldn't agree but more because he really does a fantastic job of teaching it, showing its importance, and he really is highlighting high yield physical exam things that all physicians or all people in medicine should know how to do. And that covers heart, lung, GI, extremities, neuro, he covers the entire physical exam spectrum. So the Stanford 25 videos, they're free, they're on the Stanford 25 website, link down below. Um, you can also find them on YouTube as well if you like, whatever's easier, but in my opinion, in a world where medical school still teaches us the physical exam, but in actual practice one could, you know, you, you learn it in medical school, you try practicing it as well, but it's the attendings that really give you great feedback regarding the physical exam because they have experience, they know the nuances of it, um, and that's what you want. And these videos, you know, I've watched them multiple times. I even started watching them when I was in the beginning, uh, at, the, at the end of college and even beginning of med school because I was just interested in it. And I've watched them now, and honestly, I'm still watching them now, but I'm getting different things out of them. So wherever you are in your training, even if you're pre-med, in med school, or in residency, even as attending, one could argue, you could watch the videos and catch different nuances and highlights that are being taught, and so they can cover different uh, medical spectrum training. So those are my two resources, Osmosis, Stanford 25, both get the Docosara thumbs up, my full endorsement, I love them, they're both free, check them out, share them with your friends, uh, put them on your social media, whatever you guys want to do. Hope you guys enjoy them, my two recommendations. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below, uh, put some comments and questions on the Facebook page, and as always guys, enjoy your studies.